Hey guys, it's LEGO Boys E3. Today I'm going to try and solve a 3x3 using nothing but magnets. Alright, so the other day I had an interesting idea about magnetic cubes. So of course most high-end speed cubes nowadays have magnets in them, so that the pieces will kind of snap together like this and add stability to the turning. It creates a really nice feel. So I was wondering if you took a really giant magnet and stuck it up to a puzzle, if you could kind of feel those magnets in there. And you definitely can, it does kind of stick to the puzzle as you can see there. But you can't really turn the puzzle with it, like besides just pushing it. But what I wanted to do was to control a cube using nothing but the magnetic force. So maybe sticking a magnet up here and one up here and just turning it like that. So obviously that wasn't going to work on the weak magnets on a normal GAN Air SM in this case. So what I did is I got another cube that was not magnetized, in this case the Thunderclap, which used to be my main. Stuck some magnets in each of the pieces, just like that, and then assembled the cube. It actually happens to be very, very heavy, like three times as heavy as a normal cube. And now it's kind of rattly, you can kind of hear it. But if I stick the two magnets up to it, one on that piece, one on this piece, now we can control the cube using nothing but magnets. So it's not quite what I imagined when I first thought of a magnetic cube, like the pieces don't even snap together, like there's no snap at all right there. But anyway, what we're going to do today is just do a little challenge video where I try and solve this cube using nothing but those magnets. And the point of this is not to be like pushing the pieces with the magnets. Obviously, you could take any cube and just kind of push the pieces together like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and solve this cube using nothing but the magnetic force of these two really strong magnets, as you can see right here. So anyway, I'm not going to really try and touch the cube, do it as little as possible just to get the magnets on and off. Anyway, so let's try and get this blue piece into the cross. So maybe like put it up here. It's actually a little bit harder to get the turn started, but it's not that bad. So as you can see there, I did one turn. Now I can move the cube over and maybe get this white piece up here. So again, I'm trying not to push the actual cube with the magnets. I'm more so just trying to like control the pieces and where they're going without using actual physical force on them. Makes it a little bit easier if you just like kind of stick it on the puzzle, I guess. And then finally, this red one up here, and the cross will be done. And there we go. So now let's get on to the first two layers by kind of rotating the cube up like this, moving it around. Looks like we have a nice pair made right there, so we'll move that into the back slot. So I'm not really sure how to go about doing these turns. Maybe if I just kind of stick one magnet on there, then I can do a turn like this. That might make things a little bit easier. But getting the magnets actually off the pieces can be a little bit challenging. But yeah, I think this method that I'm doing so far is kind of working. So it looks like there's another good F2L pair around on this side. So if I just kind of pull this around to here and maybe stick the magnet on this side and pull up like that, that's a pretty good strategy, I think. Just kind of sticking it on the side and just kind of turning. Anyway, the next F2L pair looks pretty simple. It looks like it's just these two pieces right here. So... Not really sure what I'm doing here. Looks like the corner is kind of like splitting apart. I think the magnets really want to get out of there. And maybe they will at one point come flying out of the pieces. But I think for now we are safe to just kind of go on like this. And yeah, it seems to be a pretty good strategy to just kind of stick the magnets on opposite sides of the puzzle. And then just kind of pull. Use the magnets kind of as handles on the cube. Oh, and there we go. There's the first magnets to come out of the puzzle. So let's fix that up real quick. There we go, that's better. So let's just finish up with this F2L pair right here that we were doing when everything got messed up. And then I think we need to turn this side one more time for the next F2L pair. Then turn the cube over like this. Bring this side up around like that. This piece up to there. Form another F2L pair. Get them back in. There we go, now F2L is solved. All right, now onto OLL. I don't actually want to attempt the actual algorithm for this case because it's a little bit long and I really do not want to mess it up. So let's just kind of do the beginner's method to look algorithm like this. Anyway, let's just go ahead and finish up OLL doing this algorithm right here. So if I can get the magnet off the cube like this. I'm actually getting pretty fast at executing these algorithms. Pretty much just hold one magnet over here with my left hand while moving the magnet around to the R and U sides with my right hand, and it makes it pretty simple. It wasn't quite what I had envisioned when I first thought of this challenge. I thought I was going to be kind of like pointing the magnet at the cube until I got the magnetic force to kind of make it stick. But I guess this works too, kind of doing the same thing. And more magnets fell out right there. 
There we go, done with OLL. In case you guys are wondering, these are all the magnets that have fallen out of this cube so far. All right, so let's just spin the cube around to take a look at our PLL right here. Looks like we have just a simple aperm, which we should be able to do just one look. So what we can do is kind of hold the magnets like this, just do an R2, and then just continue on with the algorithm. So maybe put this one on top and do a D2 with this one on the bottom, maybe. You can kind of modify that like this, and the magnet stuck together. Oh well. All right, so after a few minutes of getting these things apart from each other, they are very, very strong. Let's get on with our PLL. We just have a few more moves left. And now a quick R move like this. Do a quick U move by putting this magnet on the top here, moving it around. And then one last R move to solve the cube once and for all using only magnets. So yeah, there you go. The cube was solved using nothing but magnets, but I'll be the first to admit that this was kind of a dumb challenge, but hopefully you were able to get a little bit of entertainment out of this video. Anyway, there are a few magnets left in some of these pieces. This one only has three of them left. This one has all of them that I put in there, but these are all the ones that fell out in the meantime. So anyway, let's just put a magnet up to the cube and see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so I took apart all the pieces, so let's just pick up all these extra magnets. There we go, that was pretty effective. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this pretty pointless challenge. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of enjoyment out of my really weird ideas. Anyway, I would not recommend doing this challenge yourself, but if you do, then go ahead and tell me. And that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!